Hello everyone, welcome to Alshon94, welcome back to the room Old Sins. this is episode number 2, we have just completed our first room, this is now chapter 2, and we have now 3 seals in front of us. What we're going to do now is try and work out how to open up all 3 of these seals to move on to the next chapter, so without further ado, let's get into this. Okay, so, what do we have here? So we've got a set of uh, letters on the side there with one missing. Okay, so we have a group of four tiles here. We're going to change that to whatever this shape is, bottom right. So let's go ahead and do that now. Lovely. Let's continue around the box. So start at the top there that we can see. And a weird shimmer on this side of the panel here. Okay, so we've got the number 2 at the top, 7 on the right. And then on the bottom we've got 5 and 6. That makes life easy. That's a 5, 6. Nice. Another panel slides out and we've got a strange mechanism and I think a note at the top here. So let's have a look at that note. February the 11th, my research continues at a snail's pace. With these barbaric instruments, I can barely read anything at all, but there is something there. Between earth and fire, between water and air. I cannot see it, but I can see its presence. Like the shadow of the object without substance, yet betraying the shape and form of that which casts it. It is the final element, null. It brings meaning to the rest, just as all the numbers of the world are meaningless without their zero. The circle are petty fools blinded by their dark arts and their greed. Alchemy is not the pursuit of callow gold. It is the pursuit of this. So that's one of seven, apparently. So hopefully, as we progress through this series, we should be able to find all of the notes. And next, let's flip up that latch, revealing a mechanism that is all fine. Um, what else is there around the box? Let's put our eyepiece on. Is anything apparent? Yes, it is. So... Let's do that pillar. Nice. Out comes a book. And this might be our first, our next puzzle. That goes to there. Okay, so we've got a book with the exact same note in it, but with a key. Oh, and another part of the jigsaw for this four symbol puzzle. So let's change that now top right. Is it that one? Yes. Okay. Uh, so this key must belong in this mechanism here. Turn that round. Lovely. And that's now starting to spin a wheel of some description. Okay. What else is there around the box? Okay, so bottom here, we can just about see that paraffin. Oh, it's a piece of cotton, but it smells of paraffin, that's it. So that goes in. Nice. Flame. Up we go. Okay, so that's now projecting a light. But we can't see anything yet without another piece, I think, that goes there. Now, logically... We're looking for another piece of the box that looks like this, but isn't that. Like it's got, like, so like this, for example, might be it. Which it is. There we go. Out comes a miniature telescope. Nice. Okay, so now this is the final piece of the puzzle that fits here. Nice. Let's have a look inside. I get the feeling there's more to that than I saw. Would the eyepiece reveal anything? Let's try it. Here we go. Ah. Trial in blue. And the box is spinning around. That's quite cool. Trial. Okay. Another puzzle. Does our eyepiece reveal anything? Yes, it does. So... Let's get this into position now. Okay, we now get the letter L. 
So let's put that letter L on this part of the puzzle here and spell out the word trial. So T R trial I then an A. One of the seals have opened, two more and I'll be in. Next, next puzzle coming out now. Lovely. Okay, so we now have a safe, I think that is. Oh, and another note. Let's have a look at this note. May the 8th, McAllister returns with the rubbings from Egypt. The pattern continues. The Tibetans call the null element space. To the Hindus, it is ether. And now, to the Babylonians, it is simply up. The other direction, the realm of Ishtar. Of yet more significance is the reoccurring presence of the hexagonal glyph, the same symbol repeated in cultures separated by countless centuries and the span of the globe. Who will tell me now that this is the superstition at work? When my hands hold the first distilled sample, they will recognise me then. Presently, oh yeah, presently the sceptics have one more in their number. McAllister has quit my service. So, let's have another look around. I don't think there's anything else that I can add at the moment. Let's just double check everywhere so far. So, bottom left is... Can I click in there? Bottom left is a straight line with two squigglies. So, let's go and change that line with two squigglies and then did I miss another one at the top yes top left is a like a just a square like a fancy square okay a heavy cast iron key so let's put that in oh, I can't put it in there yet so what's on the top if anything slide that uh, okay, so they're going to turn these round so they all light up. That's two. That's three. That's four. It's good. Okay, out comes that. Line it up. Beautifully done. Look at that. Okay. Slide that in. Rotate. In it goes. We can now pull out this lovely chest. A small cabinet key, which must fit in this cabinet. Beautiful. And an old brass star. So let's now put that brass star in the top. And another note. June 21st. Take note of this date. It is the most significant in human history. I have done it. A human subject was required. The catalyst was my own being. Fatigued by my studies, I entered the chamber without disabling the mechanism. When I regained consciousness, I had succeeded. The null element is beyond curious, beyond neither quite energy nor matter. I've already great stri I've already made great strides in its study, specifically in how it refracts the light. Tonight, I open the wine. Three of seven. Then we've got a knight, another knight, a brass ring, another knight, and a knight without anything with what looks like a gem at the back. So this circle thing must belong down here. And it's got some dots here. So we go one, two. Oh, so one, two, three, four. Ah, one, two. Th one, two, three, four. Yes. Okay, so we've got numbers on the left, numbers on the right. What is that? That's a... Can I get a better glimpse of that? Yes. So two and maybe three. So is that two on the left, three on the right? Two, three. Two, three. Two, three. Or is it a five? It, that's not a five. But that's never a five. That's definitely a, okay. Well, 
Oh. What? So the five is there. Oh, I see. Left and... Okay, cool. That's fine. Okay, I see now. But now this key... So if I put this into the lock, I think we get a blue outline. Which we do. Which we can then rotate round. And then we are guaranteeing ourselves the right way. So that's like that. That's it, I think. Does that fit in now? Yes. And we now get in this one a circular plate with a star emblem. And I think this must belong in here. Beautiful. Second seal, I think now is about to be unlocked. There it goes. Okay, one more to go. Last cabinet. Okay. Another puzzle. What do we have on the side here? Okay, that goes up. Love that animation. The box has got t a little bit taller. I wish I was. Um, then that goes round top. Okay, that goes round. So, we saw another other top here. That's a square. So that just needs to rotate 90 degrees. Lovely. We then need to find two more objects. So this is another one. This pentagon here. That's going to rotate round by 90 and then we're looking for a triangle which is here and that needs to rotate so it matches I think that cool that's now been done what's inside this chest an elastic band and a large cog okay so that goes obviously down here then rotate that round and we now get ourselves the first of these mechanisms that's spinning and a small screwdriver okay small screwdriver is cool um, that must then belong in here. Okay, so I think then we've got to... There we go, lovely. Peculiar folding key again. We'll employ the same principle as before. And we'll put this key in here. Then we get all the keys out. So that goes to the top. That goes there. That goes there. And that goes there. Absolutely lovely. We then got ourselves a medium sized cog. Which I think goes in the same mechanism down here. It feels like I can take this off again if I need to. Cool. Oh, up goes the second mechanism. And we get another medium sized cog. Uh, so we'll put this medium sized cog there. This medium sized cog there. Attach it with an elastic band. Twist it again like you did last summer. Okay. Press the button. And we get ourselves a long narrow steel tube. So pop that baby off. A small key. And an old photograph. R-E-V. I think that's rendezvous at 6.05. Okay. So I think then this key must belong in this cabinet. It's got that weird glow on it again. So we'll use our lens. We need to match it up to there. That needs to match up. Nice. Auto adjust. And a small silver shield presented to us. Which I think must belong on the knight. The knight reveals an oval gemstone. Which must then belong on the clock. What's that heartbeat? Okay, and then we're changing the clock to five... Past six. We done it. There we go. The third seal is now unlocked. Wow. Look at the detailing on PC. Oh my goodness me. Chapter complete. 
pleasing progress, but do you really think you have proven yourself yet? So that is it for this episode of The Room. If you like what you saw, hit the like button below. Don't forget to subscribe to this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.